presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Oklahoma is getting fired up down there as they get ready to boot this opening kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Gets to about the 24-yard line. The Longhorns and their coaching staff, Kirk, just happy to have a guy like this in the program. Their offense really clicks when he's playing well. Well, I think it gives them the diversity that they're looking for. I mean, at times they're going to run the football. Other times they're going to try to air it out. And when you have one guy that gets so much attention on the outside, it just seems to open up other aspects of their offensive attack. And they've done a good job as an offensive staff of putting together a good plan. And I'm sure we're going to see it again today. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down, one yard to go. Ball on their own 33. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. So they'll get the first down there on the five-yard completion. And I like the decision the quarterback made on this play. He didn't try to force a deep pass. Instead, he just threw a little dump-off pass that was good enough for a first down. down the 37 yard line well I think it's safe to say the defense had his number on that one it can be very frustrating for a running back when he stopped before he even gets going from their own 37 yard line it's second down quick throw out to the receiver incomplete Quick strike to the receiver. The screen is good for four. Simple bubble screen here to the receiver. He did a pretty good job of picking up some yardage before he went down. Freeman is back deep to return. He really got a hold of that one. And he has it on the corner. Steps out of bounds at the 26-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Here's a run. Three-yard gain by the running back. This safety is as vicious a player as you're going to find. He will make the tackle every single time. Second down, seven to go. Ball on the 29-yard line. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. And down he goes at the 49. He kept it himself and picked up a good-looking first down. Great execution and a good decision there by the quarterback. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 49. Walker gets the carry. Six yards there on the counter. the 41. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Tipped away. Well, if you missed a long field goal try, you give your opponent great field position. Punting would allow you to pin them deep and rely on the defense. And they'll get him in the backfield. And they'll take over on downs. 
This time the offense isn't successful on fourth down. The defense had that option play snuffed out from the get-go. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second to seven. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at about the 47-yard line. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. First and 10, ball on the 40. Almost intercepted there. It can be tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. Tackle right around the 38 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Throws it out there. Tackle at the 12 yard line. The offense caught him flat footed to convert that third and long. You can tell by the coach's reaction that that is a huge disappointment. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 12-yard line. He's hit and taken down. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. He's taken down at the two. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. And he just gets rid of it. From the two-yard line, it's second down. Touchdown, Longhorns. He splits the uprights with the extra point. A 10-play, 56-yard drive, and they put up seven points. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line. Second down. Here's the halfback. 
Makes it to the 37. Quick out to his receiver. He gets hit out of bounds at the 49-yard line. A quarterback's best friend is a receiver he can count on to catch the ball every time he drops back the pass. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Throws complete and he's hit right away. A one yard gain by the halfback. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. There's a strike complete, and he's tackled right away. He's taken down at the 26. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Play action here. He's going to scramble. It's a fumble. They fall on it. And they make the stop at the 16-yard line. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Tackled after a decent pickup. This is the 10th play of this drive. into the open field. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. First and goal from the one, looking to punch this one in. Defense and their short yardage package. Touchdown, Oklahoma! The extra point to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 75 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30 yard line. They're ready to start another drive, hoping to duplicate the results of the last one, which ended in a touchdown. You know, when this defense went over the sideline based on the way they've been playing so far, this defense coordinator has got to be livid. Uh, he's got to get in their face. He's got to challenge them. He's got to get their emotions going. Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. From their own 33-yard line, second down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Gain of six on the draw play. That'll make it third and one. And they 
they get nice yardage on that run. First and ten. Ball on their own 43. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. Back to the action now here in the second quarter. He gets rid of this one. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. run there. Brooks gained seven yards on that play. And he tackles him hard at the 34-yard line. and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. Completes it, and he's hit hard immediately. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. He makes it to the 32-yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. The defender had his hands on it, but it's incomplete. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Texas is looking to go up by three. It has the distance, and he splits the uprights. Lined up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. It in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That brings us second and nine. From their own 26 yard line, it's second down. Brought down around the 35 yard line. Pitches out and the ball is up for grabs. Defense has it. It's one of the corners. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball.
They picked up three points on their last possession, and they've got great field position to work from here. Texas holds a field goal lead. Now he tries to buy some time. And down he goes around the 26-yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here comes the pressure, and he might want it all here and done! Excellent play here by the quarterback, making the proper reads and finding his playmaker for the score. It was a pretty simple route, but they run it to perfection for the score. And he converts the extra point. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. The defense, I'm sure, will be aggressive again. They love going for the strip and attacking the football. Nice run up the middle. They're about four yards away here on second down. Walker, again, tackle made at the 33. He scrambled, and he hits him hard at the 30. Worthy is back deep to return. And this one is a beauty. And he's taken down at the 25-yard line. I'm sure that touchdown in their last possession's given them some confidence, but let's see if that carries them back down the field. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receivers. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. And he throws it away. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Fires out to his wideout. He's knocked out of bounds around the 39-yard line. tough making a play on the ball sometimes, but that's probably a pick he should have made. From their own 39-yard line, third down. Quick throw. 
Yeah, the quarterback's breathing a huge sigh of relief because he got away with throwing what should have been an interception. Freeman awaiting the return. He'll take it from the 18. Tackle at the 28-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Hands it to the back. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 30-yard line. From their own 30-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 31. He heaves it deep. Got him. Inside the 30. He's tackled at about the 23-yard line. That was more than enough to pick up the first down. Next time, this defense will be playing on their heels. It's first down and 10 now after picking up some great yardage through the air. He launches one for the end zone. Doesn't get there. That makes it second and ten. He's got it out to his tight end. Not a bad little play there. Yeah, it's a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. And here's another third down. He's taken down around the 10-yard line. Here's the eighth play of the series. They'll bring him down around the seven-yard line. Barnes gets three yards on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the seven. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. That makes it third and seven. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Tries to scramble, but he's sacked. So it's fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. And they can make this a one possession game with this kick right here. Kicks up, and he got it. Oklahoma gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas up seven points. Fires it out. Tackled for a loss. That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated them there. Yeah. 
Knocked out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. So the tailback's going to come away with a first down on the play. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Defensive end with this kind of speed is an offense's worst nightmare. He's got the ability to collapse the pocket on any given pass play. And as a play caller, you constantly have to be aware of it. Whether you're going to roll away from him or you're going to chip with a tight end or a running back, you're constantly concerned and aware of a big, strong defensive end. It's second and 15. Ball on the 33. Zips it to the tailback incomplete. And he's taken down around the 36-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. The Sooners will use their first time out of the half. Sanborn awaits the snap. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. And down he goes at the 32. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. It's a bad play overall by the offense. Quarterback's doing everything he can to be able to make the play work and try to execute. The problem is the offensive line did not do a good job protecting him. They're very fortunate that ball wasn't intercepted. He's on the run. And they make the stop, the 37-yard line. A five-yard quarterback scramble. Now he's scrambling. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. The Sooners call a timeout. That's their second of the half. First and 10. Ball on the 46. Scrambling around. Slides down to the ground. He's hit and taken down. Fires out quickly to the tailback. And they push him out right around the 16-yard line. So they decide to bring the kicker out to try to get three points before the half ends. The kick is up, and he's got it. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Texas holds a four-point lead. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. A tight first half of football, and we head to the break. The Longhorns lead it by four.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Neither ground game got much going in the first half, averaging a little less than three yards per rush. David, as you look at this, uh, look, you always hear the term, get the offense behind the chain. Oh, yeah. You get them in long yardage situations. What does that do for a team? Well, it's, it's so much fun. You start with the defensive line, you know it's a pass. You get to fly up field as fast as you want to. It's not third and three where you're sitting in a situation where they could run or they could pass, and there's a little bit of doubt in your mind when you're coming. You fly up field, you rush the passer. Everybody knows that the sticks are a little bit further back, so DBs can back up a little bit and play to the sticks as opposed to playing third and short situations. It makes it easier on the whole defense. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He fights forward to about the 26. From their own 26-yard line, second down. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. He's at midfield. At the 30. To the 20. Brought down at the 13 yard line. That's a team 54. That makes it first and 10. So we've got a first down after a great running play. Nice run, and he's brought down. Makes it to the six yard line. That makes it third and three. And so it's another third down upcoming here. Touchdown, Oklahoma! So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he hits the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Makes it out to about the 40. Got a first and ten. Ball on their own 40. Bring 
Brooks on the give. And down he goes at the 43. That's a deep three on the play. That'll make it second to seven. made at the 49-yard line. First and 10. Ball in the 49. Makes the catch and look out. And he's tackled at the 34. Makes it to the 32 yard line. From the 32 yard line, it's second down. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five receiver look. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. First down grab. Very good tackle in space. It's first and ten. Ball on the ten-yard line. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. Tackle right around the eight yard line. This is the ninth play of this drive. Gets to about the five yard line. They're at the five. Third down. Texas is down three and looking to tie it up. He gets it up, and it is good. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Longhorns coaching staff's got to be elated over on the sideline about what they plan to do with this wide receiver and the plans coming to fruition. Absolutely, and they continue to be able to find ways to give him the football. That's the thing that's been probably most impressive, not just his ability, but how they've moved him around and got the football to him in different ways. It makes it very tough on the defense. Nice gain as he works the right side. That'll bring up second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Big opening. There's a very impressive open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. He scrambles. He's tackled at the 48. That's a gain of six on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down.
Throws it to the outside. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. The quarterback did an excellent job of recognizing the Mike linebacker on the blitz. He hung in there, delivered the pass, and his receiver made a good catch to move the sticks. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. He's taken down at the 23. From the 23-yard line, first down. On the run, right side. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this. It makes an offense so much more versatile. Caught. Big hit. He's going to lose yardage. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That'll bring up second and 11. And this play is number eight on the drive. Bring him down around the four yard line. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. And he is drilled at the one. about that play call as they fail on fourth down. Well, the offense looked like they wanted to bounce the ball to the outside. But this defense just has too much speed. They did a good job of shutting off the edge and preventing the ball carrier from getting to the first down. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. And that one's incomplete. It's second down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. And he almost has the INT. How did he drop that? The defender did everything that he needs to do. He read the play perfectly. He stepped up, and what does he do? He drops the interception. Boy, the offense caught a break there. Tackled after a decent pickup. Freeman, the return man. And this one is a beauty. Freeman fields it at the 46. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. He fights forward to about the 36. From the 36-yard line, second down. Gains his way to the 26-yard line. Gets out to around the 12. From the 12-yard line, it's first down. Right, 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 right. 
Halfback's got it on the quick throw. They're about four yards away here on second down. He has some room. Touchdown Sooners. He splits the uprights with the extra point. like they're ready for the kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Run play and he'll lose yards. Well, the third quarter's in the books, and you have to wonder if either defense is going to make a stop in the fourth. Oklahoma leads 27 20. Back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. Fires it out. And they make the stop at the 32-yard line. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's a handoff, left side. They tackle him there, and he's still going to be short. Sanborn is the punter. Booming kick. He's taken down at the 26-yard line. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Oklahoma is up seven. And he's taken down right around the 28-yard line. That's a game of two. That brings us second and nine. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He lost the ball. And the offense picks it up. Third down at 15. Ball on the 21. Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he tackles him hard at the 24-yard line. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to maybe the 43-yard line. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Gives it off. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. That's a 
It's second and seven. Ball on the 46-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. They come out in an empty backfield. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. And it's the offense that takes the field on fourth down. Hands it off inside, brought down. And the defense comes through. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Oklahoma is up by a touchdown. Fires out quickly to the tailback. Brought down at about the 49. Second down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And a quick throw. And he's hit immediately. Nice run up the middle. That makes it second and six. Second down and six. Ball on the 31 yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Call it a gain of four yards. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the halfback gets some decent yards and a first down. This young man ran with some purpose there and picked up six yards. Where in the world was he going on that run? Well, that's a good question. I thought for a while he got his directions messed up. From the 25-yard line, second down. Oklahoma is up a score. Gives it left side. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. That's a gain of five on the play. That'll make it 39. This is the eighth play of this drive. Let's go, D. Steps up in the pocket. And he hits him hard at the 20-yard line. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. I'm going to be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. Fourth down. They'll line it up for the field goal. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there. 
And this offense comes out on the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out. Not only does that affect them in a negative way, but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He unloads it. Nice catch, first down, and he's knocked out. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Less than three minutes in the game. Got a man and it falls to the ground. So they're gonna go for it here. He throws a dart to the right. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. Initially, it was called a catch, but now we're going to find out for sure if he at least had one foot in and possession of the ball before he went out of bounds. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was in bounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after the review, they reversed the call on the field from their own 48-yard line. First down. He makes his way to about the 42. That's good for a game of 10 yards. That'll make it second and inches. around the 30-yard line. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. From the 30-yard line, first down. Again with the run. Nice run there as they work the outside. Walker gained seven yards on that play. The Longhorns use their second timeout. made right around the 14 yard line the reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing they have no idea whether you're passing or running even if you need medium to long range yards and he carries the ball for a nice game so it's second down now and they need about four yards to pick up the first just over a minute in the fourth quarter He's tackled at about the five-yard line. And down he goes around the five-yard line. in the books and our final score 30 20 Oklahoma as we wrap this game up Kirk what final thoughts do you want to share they've talked about the rivalry all week long and for good reason we saw the intensity down in the field every play and it showed us why these teams love to hate each other it'll be interesting to see how this game carries over the next time they play
That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.